Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Keep your head up. Yeah, keep your head up. Now, I know this is a tough time. This is a tough time um, in people's lives and the uh, history of this world. This is a tough time. Um, you know, this lockdown. Oh, it's tough. I know it's tough for me. Rom likes to get out and everything. And I know and I know there's been millions of people. I really feel for the millions of people who've been furloughed for, from jobs or you know, business owners and everything who they not getting the business anymore. And, you know, there's there's so many effects from it. People can't reach out and just hang out with the people that they usually hang around. And uh, some people, if they not, they weren't in a relationship where they were living with somebody, they can't just casually go visit them now. You know, it's a lot of stuff. But despite everything, I know it seems tough. Keep your head up. Just keep your head off. Now, it's cliche to say, oh, yeah, it always gets brighter. I mean, that's normal, but, you know, it's hard to think about that when you're going through something right this second. You know, you can think that, but then you're still dealing with the stuff right there, you know? Because I know so many people, they, like, looking for other jobs and, you know, trying to stay busy, everything like that. But regardless of what and how you feel and keep your head up. I'm going to tell you something now, and this is something I've learned personally. There's been things going well in life now, despite all this things going well in life for me, but I remember the time it wasn't. I remember the times it wasn't. You know, it was tough. You know, you you sitting there thinking, man, I'm going to take care of this. It wasn't that I was like, my head was underwater. Shoot. My head, I was underwater with, uh, you know, big old ball and chain around my uh, ankle, pulling me all the way to the bottom. <laughs> I've been through some stuff. But the thing is, no matter what, no matter where you at, keep your head up. Just keep your head up every day. Just whatever you got to do to keep your head up, just keep it up. Whatever you got to do. If you got to uh, just stay in that one moment. And just be thankful that, you know what, you're still alive. You, you're still alive. I mean, sadly, many have succumbed, uh, succumbed to this, uh, this virus and everything. So just, you know what, you're still here. Keep your head up. If you have a job, definitely keep your head up. If you got, even if you've been furloughed or something, just keep your head up. I mean, one, a lot of people will be going back to their jobs. And two... A lot of people, even if they don't, they might be able to find something else. I don't know. Whatever the case, keep your head keep your head up. I mean, and that's just life period. Even if we weren't going through this thing now, you know, that I mean stuff is gonna go. That's just that's just the nature of life. You're gonna have some you're gonna have some peaks, you're gonna have some valleys. But remember when you're down in that valley, you know, you come into that next peak, so you climbing up again. And you just got, I mean, just, and that's just the thing. Just keep, you just keep your head up. I mean, I know it might sound cliche to sound, but, you know, it might sound cliche to some people, you know, and it might just say, oh, yeah, you're just saying that, but it works. It works. Because remember something, the sun really does rise every day. And as long as you're still breathing, you got an opportunity to do better. Or, you know, to get out the situation. You know, if you focus on the positive. Like last week I talked about that your attitude determines your altitude. Keep a good attitude no matter what. And, you know, no matter no matter what, keep a good attitude about what's going on, what's happening, and everything. Just keep a good attitude. Just, just like, you know what, this is something my grandmother taught me. You always see the silver lining in something. Whatever you got to do. Now, is it tough to do? Heck yeah. <laughs> Let me not play around with that part. It can be very tough to do. You're going through some stuff and, you know, things happening. And it seemed like, oh, all this is happening stuff. But, you know, you can't you can't really dip your head because then it's easy to really let it get to you. And, yeah, it is tough. But you got to say, you know what, I don't care what's coming. 
you know, all this stuff happening. I'm going to just focus on the positive. It's tough, but you just got to do it. However, you got to do it. If you need, like, the help of friends, family, whoever, talk to some people, talk to your spiritual advisor. Um, I don't know, read a good book, find the things you can still do. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Whatever you got to do, if it's just taking a good walk just to clear your head, whatever you got to do, just keep your head up in all of this. Keep your head up. I mean, the sun's always going to rise. It's, it has no choice but to go get better. It's, it's, it has no, regardless of what happens, it got to go up at some point because it feel like, you know what, feel like we're in a valley. Hey, that valley could go deeper, but you know what, that next peak is coming up. So that's all I have for today. Keep your heads up. And more now more than ever, just keep rising. Keep rising. So peace and blessings to everyone.